You can see the aperture door open at the top of the 43-and-a-half-foot high observatory. The high-gain antennas are fully deployed uh, perpendicular to the body of the telescope. Everything set for its deployment, now nine minutes away. All of the orbiter's uh, jet thrusters have been disabled uh, to provide the most quiescent environment for the Hubble Space Telescope at the time of robot arm release, now just 40 seconds away. All of the orbiter's uh, jet thrusters have been disabled uh, to provide the most quiescent environment for the Hubble Space Telescope at the time of robot arm release, now just 40 seconds away. Standing by for the opening of the snares. For release in 25 seconds. Concur, Scooter. Standing by for deployment. Deployment confirmed. The robot arm backing away from the Hubble Space Telescope. Applause in the Space Telescope Operations Control Center. The refurbished, more powerful Hubble Space Telescope flying free once again, ready to resume its voyage of discovery. And the first separation burn is now underway. Columbia departing the Hubble Space Telescope, not to be revisited for the next two and a half years. Columbia SUP-1 burn performed at uh, 7 days, 22 hours, 43 minutes, and 6 seconds. Copy, Digger. Flight Dynamics Officer reports back to Lead Flight Director Brian Austin uh, that the separation burn was perfect, right on time. The correct uh, relative motion between the two vehicles, the Hubble Space Telescope, free once again. Telescope engineers at the Goddard Space Flight Center report that the telescope is rock steady.